Here we are in the Keweenaw Peninsula of Michigan, looking across this little bay in Lake Superior at that cliff of reddish pinkish rock back there that's called Bear Bluff. And Bear Bluff is made of the rock rhyolite, which is actually not that common in the mid-continent rift. So the question might be, how did that rhyolite get here? Well, it has to do with how the rift formed. The mid-continent rift formed because we had a mantle plume rising back about 1.1 billion years ago. And a mantle plume is where we have this extra heat rising from the core through the mantle and it started melting the early continent of North America. And as it started melting those rocks that are rich in silica, it created magma that ultimately erupted as the silica-rich rhyolite. Light. And then as this mantle plume continued adding heat, uh, a pathway was cleared for the lower silica mantle material to start rising and eventually erupting, creating the massive amounts of basaltic eruptions, which are low in silica, that the mid-continent rift is known for. And this is very typical of rift systems. It's called bimodal volcanism, two types of volcanic eruptions. They start with silica-rich eruptions as the, the continent itself is melted, and once the pathway is cleared for magma to rise, then the silica pore material erupts. And uh, Bear Bluff back there, that's what's called a rhyolite plug. It was once the eruptive center where some of the earliest volcanic activity in the mid-continent rift occurred.